Okay, we're just seeing right off the rip, we shoot this thing cold. We come out, set up the drill, no warm up, not even one you know, rack and prep on our trigger to fill our live fire gun, just absolutely cold, see where we're at. Then our next progression after that is to start really working our drill, skill development. It's not just about hitting something once or whatever. We gotta get some reps in and some volume. We do our progression. Side alignment, right off the bat. How is our side alignment? Is our side alignment dialed in? So, it's one shot on position where we just get it as perfect, it, it, well, not as perfect, as much as we need to to get a shot in. We don't go beyond till we get all our shots in our acceptable accuracy zone, the A zone. Then we go to trigger control. So we come up, we have side alignment, now we break the shot quick. Okay, so we're not taking forever on it, we're just breaking that shot kind of more on demand and making sure we're not sending that muzzle in, in goofy places when we do that. Next progression, three, is trigger control with, with multiple shots, where we reciprocate the shots. So, we go one, two, three, and we've got to have that ability to manipulate that trigger without disturbing the muzzle, okay, for three shots per position, all right? Next progression we do is we start turning it loose, all right? We start going fast. Let's 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 bring into position. Let's 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 open it up. Let's really let's really drive our bodies to set up quick, stay low, stay mean, and get our shots. Then allow ourselves to fail a little bit. You know, before we're just like you know Nazis on ourselves. It's real strict about about making sure we we are doing everything right. But now we bring the speed component in. We gotta we gotta let ourselves give ourselves permission to fail. You know, I come in so quick that that looks good enough. Let me send it. Boom! It's outside. Well, okay, it wasn't good enough. Side picture. All right. Next progression we're hitting right now is the strong hand only. All right, we're gonna slow it down a little bit uh, and we're gonna come back to trigger control and just break that shot on demand without our support hand giving us help, giving us love, okay? Uh, we're, gonna slow, you know, we're gonna let ourselves get our legs back underneath us, recover a little bit and, and go, go back to our fine motor skill development. All right, final progression, we're actually gonna turn on the take-up indicator and really see how this muzzle is when we're coming in to target. Now, the take-up indicator, the red laser, is sit below sight picture, but one, I can make sure I'm, I'm prepping the trigger coming into position, because I'm ready to destroy everything in that direction. I subconsciously try to like dampen out all the more, because you know that we watch the sights, but still, the, the laser at distance the shows the, the, the muzzle deviation all the more. All right, final step is go live again put it together. You know, obviously get a good time and get all our hits and do all that fun stuff, but we're just flowing with it. All right, sports psychology wise, it's it's not different. It's just like any other drill, we're just we're just we're just rolling with it. You know, we're going to get our times and our scores and, and journal it for accountability. You know, are we making ground or not? But, you know, let's 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 put it all together now.